Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Noise, and welcome back to Crash Landing. In the last episode, uh, we made a pulverizer and an autonomous activator. I think we made that last time. And I've been sifting some gravel. Uh, and I sifted a little bit of sand, but I mostly have been sifting gravel because we need some broken nickel ore. Uh, we need nickel. That is like the crucial piece that we've been missing. Uh, in order to make more machines, uh, and since nickel only comes from gravel, it's it's about time we did this. So uh, we should be able to take the crushed, take all of the crushed stuff, and except for that one, and we should be able to make a little bit of nickel to start smelting up. Uh, and I'm actually going to want to do this into the high oven. Uh, and then make invar uh, from just normal uh, the smeltery. Uh, so today we are going to be making a bunch more machines and start working on getting just in general more stuff. Um, by the way, I noticed the other day uh, when I was on here working that last episode we had a skeleton spawn inside our base like there was a skeleton just hanging out under the trees I killed him and I found out where he spawned from he was spawning right over there on top of that uh, fuel port thing so I got rid of that dark spot and everything's better now there seems to be a spider over here but maybe not okay uh, so let's go downstairs and we will start getting to work uh, so between episodes I did make up a bunch of capacitors and transistors and we have a couple of circuit boards on a simple PCBs in there uh, so we're gonna go ahead and make some of the uh, printed circuit boards and we have the nickel let's get the nickel smelting do we have any more nickel to smelt? We do. It's always best to do it in threes because that will give you blocks. Uh, let's just get a bunch of charcoal. Uh, actually, let's put not that. Let's put all the charcoal in there and then pop upstairs because I was smelting up some more charcoal. Um, one of these days I'll get that automated so that uh, we get plenty of wood. But I have a couple stacks of charcoal down here. Alright, well, before we go back down, I need to eat and grab some more food. Uh, these peanut butter jelly sandwiches are definitely the way to go. Uh, let's grab... Let's just grab some PB&J. Uh, and so today we are going to focus a little bit more on quests than anything else. Uh, I want to unlock more stuff, and we're going to need to basically rebuild a lot of our base. Uh, fun, but necessary. So let's grab the rest of that charcoal, and then I'll put some charcoal down here. Like so. Let's just make some blocks, and everything will be good. So, first things first, we need to make a reactant dynamo. Uh, if we look at the quest book, I don't know why I have the needle gun, the needle gun there, but I do. Uh, if we look at the quest book, um, we need to make a grinder and a reactant dynamo, and this is going to let us uh, unlock two more quests somewhere else. Uh, that's what I want. So we need grinder, reactant dynamo. Uh, let's go ahead and make the reactant dynamo first. This is just a lot of bronze and some silver so we're gonna need a little bit more bronze but silver we have we have plenty of redstone on us so let's get the transmission coil um, and then the other thing that this is gonna take is a uh, PRC LX 100 logic expansion card which is just a circuit board with some plastic and redstone uh, that one's not too bad uh, but we do need more plastic I think I can use any type of plastic so let's Let's just get something like that. Actually, let's use the creeper plant stuff because that's going to be the uh, easiest. I really enjoy doing the uh, the scroll wheeling to get single items out of uh, chests. Oh, it has to be. Never mind. All right, that's not a problem. Let's go upstairs. 
we should have, let's see, uh, it's probably in here. We need to grab our lumbrax. Yep. And we'll grab a little bit of bone meal. Uh, I guess we do have some raw rubber up here. That'll work. Never mind. We're not going to chop down any more trees. Let's just get the raw rubber smelting. Uh-oh. Baby zombie. Luckily, if they jump, they really can't do anything. So where did... Unless he spawned... There is the possibility that he spawned on the wall. Like, that. that is something that is possible. Otherwise, I don't know where he came from. Yeah, that's well lit, so... I don't know. Um... Let's go ahead, and we should have some raw rubber bars right there. We'll need just a little bit more. So while we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and come over here. Yeah, we have 55 creeper plant seeds, so green plastic is going to be the plastic to use anytime we need to use that uh, type of stuff. Alright, so let's see. We need to make a bunch of bronze, which is copper and tin. It's three copper, one tin um, per bronze. And it makes four, so we'll want to get uh, let's get a lot of bronze. So three copper if we do 27 and nine. I don't know that this is going to have enough space for all that, but we'll do the tin first so that we'll get more bronze that way. Um, we'll be able to just kind of slowly siphon it off. But let's grab the plastic. And we're out of fuel. Uh, let's just throw this guy in here. And not worry about it. So one of the things that we'll be making relatively soon is this redstone furnace. Uh, just a machine frame. It's not too difficult. Uh, lots of plastic. We're going to need a lot of plastic. Uh, but let's actually go ahead and get uh, six. Sure. Let's, let's get six and I only have three. Let's get some more iron. So we'll do this. We will tell this. This and then um, we'll need to give it some more uh, air compression. Compression. Not nothing too too bad. That kind of worked pretty quickly. So uh, one of these days I will automate this so it's a little bit better. There's the six. Let's change this to um, begins with, no, I want it to be contains circuit. That'll be fine. And we'll just throw these in there. And we can start getting copper smelted up. We have nickel is getting there, so that's good. Um, let's see, we didn't grab the plastic. Whoops. <laughs> I forgot to grab the plastic. Uh, so there's a bunch of raw plastic. Uh, one of these days I will kind of make a few more systems. Um, basically I just need to chop down a whole bunch of rubber trees. Nothing too complicated there. Uh, but let's take half of these. And if I do this in my inventory, we'll get the plastic sheets. And we get the logic card. So there's that. Um, and then the grinder is going to require a machine frame, so we need one more of those. Uh, so let's basically just do that again. Nothing too difficult. And printed circuit board. Cool. These do not stack, by the way. Now, for the grinder, we do need a machine frame. So we need invar and electrum. We have the two electrum, we have the glass. We just need the invar. Uh, and it's four invar, right? 
Plus, we're going to need a little bit more. It's two glass. Okay. So, that's making some bronze. Let's go ahead and start getting a little bit of that out uh, so that we can make the gears and all that fun stuff. Um, for this guy, the gears can be made with iron. Uh, also, I have extra water bottles on me to fill this guy up as I need to. So we need two iron and we can make that. So that shouldn't be too bad. Um, we're going to need, we'll do blocks. So it's two blocks to one. So once we get some nickel in here, uh, we'll smelt that down. And everything will be good. So bronze, this will be done second. And we can have a bunch of bronze. And one of these, I, I just really need to get a sifting system set up so that we can get all the broken ores and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to auto compact it all, and yeah, that'll be enough bronze for what we need. Unfortunately, it's a Tinker Construct bronze, so let's take all of this. And let's see. We need a gear plus three, so that. Awesome. So there's just a little bit more tin. There's six more tin. That should be perfect. Um, this is getting close to melting. Uh, there is the circuit boards. Um, empty PCB. Ow, oh, that's what they're called. I'm going to add that to the filter here because that's going to be better, I think, in the long run. So do that. And then let's go ahead and start making some more. So I believe if I put one here and I think that blew up. I don't remember breaking that. I might have, but I don't remember breaking that. So this needs a lot of air compression, um, a lot of pressure. Not that bad, but let's see. So we have a bunch of bronze. Do we have our nickel yet? Not quite. So we'll get two blocks of iron smelted up. I'm going to bring this back and we're going to get some bronze gears. No, it's like there, there, that coil and then the uh, logic conversion card so there is the reactant dynamo um, so those use uh, so reactant dynamos use a solid fuel and a liquid no a, a liquid fuel and a solid reactant to generate power um, one of the most popular things is mob essence and gunpowder that's like the easiest way So let's just keep that like so. Um, we'll keep getting some more of this stuff. This is almost done. I don't know what the melting point of nickel is, so let's see, this should have 27 when it's, yep, okay, cool. So we should be able to make three more blocks of bronze. Uh, that should last us for a while. Uh, so nickel, oh, come on. So close. Uh, once we get one block of nickel, we can put it in here and get three blocks of invar, and that'll last us for a while. Um, that's the thing about using both of these kind of in combination. You can get a lot of resources pretty easily, pretty quickly, too. So this will be done in a second. Um, this guy needs a lot of pressure. Should be working here. I don't know why it's not. So, do you need to be in this one? Um, 
Hmm. Let's take that out. Let's. I want to like break that, but it's gonna lose air pressure. Let's break like that guy and then place him back. And then tell you, I don't know why it was doing that, but let's tell you to do that. Problems. Two IO, assembly laser, platform and controller. I'm gonna have to break this. Oh my gosh, something is going on. Uh, let's quickly. So that should still. It lost a lot of pressure. That's okay. We'll put. Let's just do one right now. It's in standby. And okay, so extracts from there. I really need to put labels on this. So let's do that. Uh, let's go get some wood. We're gonna put a sign that says in, uh, input. So, let's see. Let's do this. Makes three signs, but whatever. Uh, so we should have most of what we need. Uh, let's see, this has all of our nickel. Um, this is not going to explode. Uh, this is working now, so let's do a sign that says uh, input. And I'm going to put the rest of the signs up here, because we don't need them. So we have our first block of ferrous. We're going to put it straight into here. We're going to get some more. Uh, we need one more block. Yeah, there's one more block of bronze in there. So one block should make three blocks of invar. Uh, and then if I want to smell other stuff up, we can. Um, Oh, it only made two blocks. That's right. Whoops. So there's a block of ferrous. Uh, we just need a bunch of shiny now. We can make a whole bunch of resources. So there is the last block of that. That is almost done. Um, this is running, making unassembled PCBs. Um, I put a I put the life item life upgrade in there just to be safe. Um, I'd make more capacitors and all that stuff, but uh, what is it? I could probably make more, actually. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what we get, what we need, all that fun stuff. So there is a bunch of invar. Awesome. Let's get this last thing made. So electrum, electrum, glass, glass, circuit board, uh, water. <laughs> Got to stay hydrated. It is somewhat warm down here. It's not too warm, but it's somewhat warm. So there's Invar. Let's grab, whoops. Let's grab a bunch of this and yet yeah, another machine frame. So what else do we need? We need an Invar sword. So that is not too difficult. Uh, we're gonna need some plastic. That's a bit scary. Do I have enough? I don't. Of course not. And it has to be that. But we can... Oh, yeah, that's right. That's how you do it. Um, now, this isn't used for capacitors, is it? It's... Yeah, it's the uh, cyan that is. So I can do plastic sheets like that. So there's two plastic sheets. Uh, that's good to know because I have a lot of orange... Um, one of these days I'm just going to throw a whole bunch of seeds into this guy and let them all turn into plastic. So what else do we need? We need two books, redstone reception coil, uh, and I think it was some tin gears? Yeah, tin gears. So two iron, a block of tin will be enough, and 
two redstone. So there's that. If I can click it. Uh, blocks of tin. Which you can then use to make tin gears. And we just need two books. Uh, now the books are going to be probably the most difficult part. We need to get paper, string, and since we don't have leather, uh, I don't believe we have any leather, and I don't believe we can make any leather. Uh, let's see. Oh, you can smell. Okay, never mind. We can. Let's make some leather. Do I have any, actually? I just need two pieces. Not in there. In there, I got the spawn high golem. I don't know what that guy does. I don't want to use him because I don't know what he does. So let's get... Uh, I don't know, a stack of zombie flesh. I mean, we're getting plenty of zombies. We're going to get more relatively soon. Uh, I will probably work out a different way to deal with the mob farm. I'm probably going to demolish this guy. That's going to be terrifying. Uh, what I'll probably do is just go up there. There's a zombie right there. He probably spawned... He had to have spawned on the roof, on the uh, wall. I need to finish that. I'm also gonna light this up right here just to be safe. So let's get a whole bunch of sugarcane and that's enough for two books. We just need the leather now, which we should have. Awesome. So I can do that here. There's the books. We have the ten gears. We have everything. Let's go ahead and make the grinder. Uh, so this is something that we're going to use. We're going to set this up and start using it to make mob essence. Uh, I have a feeling that's what it's going to unlock for the quest. So let's take a look. Uh, we're going to get some conveyor belts, gunpowder, and mob essence buckets. And that unlocked the last quest line which is the basically it's going to let us do all of the the passive mobs uh, so if you look that's ocelot wolf villager cow sheep pig horse spawn eggs and then there's also the one up um, And shell storage, that's going to be fun. That's going to give us another camel pack and it lets our energy cell. Uh, so basically we had to make the shell constructor. Which we already had. But we should make another one uh, at some point. So this shell constructor, this isn't actually a bad recipe. It's just the sink core is actually really bad because of the ender pearl. Uh, the ender pearl is the worst, plus the emeralds are not that fun either. And then the shell storage is the same. It also requires a sink core. Uh, those are going to be basically life ups. Um, we'll get to that. We need to we need to do something about Endermen. We need to get more Endermen spawning or something. Uh, Ender pearls are rare right now. Yeah, there's no recipes for them. So. Um, oh wow, that's much more expensive than I remember. So yeah, we have our first little bit of mob essence. We have a conveyor belt. We have some gunpowder. Uh, that's basically us get you started with the energy. I have plenty of gunpowder over here, so I'm not too worried about that. But we're going to be making a better mob farm. I'm probably going to deconstruct this off camera. Uh, it shouldn't be too exciting. Shouldn't be. Hopefully, if I'm careful about it. Uh, basically, I'm going to light it up a little bit and then just let things trickle down. Um, and we are going to... See, I don't know. We could completely deconstruct this and um, make something better. Actually, I think I want to do that just because I want to potentially spawn Enderman. Uh, so we'll do a nice like dark room over in that corner or something. Uh, so I am going to de deconstruct that. Uh, and we'll set up a grinder. We'll give it some power. We'll have it kind of automatic power and get... 
how get stuff going so we're gonna need to make a bunch of things still we need to get a lot of iron um, so I think one other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start kind of reorganizing my base a little bit um, for the most part everything up here is fine uh, this can move this can move uh, the sifting is going to move the sifting yeah they're spawning on our wall I need to fix that <coughs> That's not too difficult to fix. I just need to finish the wall. Uh, so that's going to be one of my other projects. Uh, between episodes, we're going to have our farm stuff all over this side. So we'll do sifting back in here, maybe. Uh, we'll have all the power here, and then we'll just kind of do that. The basement will still be for the pressure chambers, basically any of the big multi-blocks. Um, and potentially storage along that wall. Um, we'll see because I could do storage right here or expand that direction I don't know we'll figure something out I'll kind of decide what to do with the base um, but next time things are going to look a little bit different uh, just because I am going to destroy the mob tower and uh, yeah I just need to figure out what I'm going to do with the uh, with power and then uh, sifting so I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We did one quest, um, but it's an important quest, and we need to make some more machines and all that fun stuff, and we'll just kind of work our way through everything. Um, ooh, ooh, that looks like fun. So all the auto stuff, um, that's the other quest it must have unlocked. Um, we're going to be using, we're going to be getting a lot of mob essence very soon. So next time we're going to build a new mob system, and... Um, probably set up the sifting and all that kind of stuff. I'll get it started, but we'll set it all up next time and go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!